So Kimura is kind of the villain, right? He ha we definitely see uh, there's a history between him and Lance Sterling, and he's a brilliant hacker. He kind of gets anything you want from the dark web, and he tends to help a lot of the bad guys, so that's where he's always at odds with uh, Lance. Personality-wise, he is a big teddy bear at times. Uh, when you get to the, when, when in the film, you'll see like a truth serum, and you see him uh, become really kid-like. And I think that's what's great about him in terms of like a, as a technology expert, he's a big tech geek. So, and he understands everything about technology. And that curiosity brings that child, uh, childlike wonder within him. So I think that's a, there's a fun juxtaposition of him being super imposing, but actually a real soft teddy bear inside. I mean, Katsu and Lance, you know, they have a history together. So they're kind of like rivals. And I, th I think uh, Lance has been winning a lot of them but Katsu has always been able to get away. Uh, so he's not surprised when Lance finds out what's happening at Katsu's place, and Katsu was probably expect, expecting it, so he didn't hesitate to go, go after Lance, and there's a huge battle. So Walter is played by Tom Holland, and Walter is kind of the, uh, the gadget builder. He's a brilliant mind and a very eclectic mind uh, within the agency, and uh, he builds the gadgets for the agency use on the field. And he's always kind of like the, what's, everyone calls him the weird one because he thinks outside the box. And at first you think it's not useful, like you know, turning things into kittens or you know, making glitter and stuff. It's like, whoa, how can you use this? But he's always about thinking outside the box and just had this dream of you know, saving the world through love, you know, something that his, uh, his single mother taught him uh, when he was young. So he's just a dreamer and had big dreams that nobody else can uh, think of. Nick and Troy have been amazing. They've been great collaborators and so much fun. We were able to like improvise a lot of stuff, especially when things weren't locked down. We would throw things out and try things and they were like, oh, try this. And I would pitch stuff, oh, I love that, let's try this. And it was just so much fun working with them. Now, the first time I saw Kimura, I thought it was, it was, it was amazing. Like, it's, Cause you don't think about what it is or how they're gonna act and what, what it's gonna look like until, you know, cause you only provide the voice, but when you actually see it, in motion, in animated motion, it's, uh, it, it's just, you know, breathtaking and awe-inspiring, you know. There's so much you could take away from this film. I mean, just even from Walter's backstory with his mother and what happened, and the fact that she trusted in him, and he never ceased to being who he is. He was proud of being an individual. And to see that, you know, get you know, paid off later on, you know, I think that's, that's wonderful when he gets to lead, you know, the new division and stuff. So I think it's about, you know, for me, it's, it's hard to just summarize into one thing, but maybe it's just about, you know, believe in yourself and don't be afraid to be who you are.